Okay, so in lesson one here, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and start detailing our car, and yeah, we're going to start off with the uh, the headlights here, and it's going to make it easier to texture if we actually add some some inserts into the uh, the headlights. And as you can see, I just simply brought in some mechanical pieces there, and I've added everything else to a layer that's basically, you know, not really going to. Um, pertain to what we're doing here and so that we can save some geometric memory um, and so that we don't really get that much of a slowdown in our scene because this is going to eventually be you know somewhat of a very high quality model and it's going to be somewhat detailed and so we need to go ahead and hide some of that stuff so that we can basically focus on detailing the car and as you can see I've simply you know made a a plane shape there to go ahead and make the the actual lens of our light and I'm just going to go ahead and bring it back over in the front of the light just so we can place it properly and I'll you know basically shape it from there And the main part of the light here is just, you know, two basic cylinders that have been extruded and, and shaped a little bit. And doing it this way is basically going to allow us to just add a glass material to um, the lens of the, <coughs> of the headlight. And then we'll, you know, add a little bit more texture inside there. And then when we go to render it, it'll actually look pretty good and trying to capture all these little details it, it, it's pretty important especially when you're trying to make you know it, it, a, a decent car and trying to get that car across as you know a really good looking car it's it's very important to do that because a lot of the times you won't see people that'll do the inside parts of the lights and the car renders don't actually look um, that good and so it's better to add these little details and you know just spend a little bit of extra time at, um, going ahead and adding all the details that we need. And as you can see it doesn't make any sense to go ahead and remodel or model another one so we'll just duplicate them and, and you know move them over. Because we don't want to be spending you know Ten years, basically modeling a car. We want to, um, you know, save save ourselves as much time as we possibly can. And it helps whenever you basically just duplicate a model rather than than you know remodeling everything. And as you can see, it's pretty much that simple to go ahead and get our headlights and everything in place and ready to go and there we have our headlights or the inners of our headlights <laughs> 